What's going on guys, Random Comic here. So today I got a dual nuke for you guys. Two nukes, one game. And I skipped a quarter into the game because the first quarter I'm pretty much sniping and I didn't really do that well. I usually just try to, you know, get a line of sight with the intervention. You know, as soon as people spawn people up to noob tube, I love to uh, snipe off rip just to get a few people aggravated, maybe get a few easy kills. You know, people usually hate getting sniped, so they kind of just run right back to the same position and what do you know, snipe them off again. So uh, I just cut to when I get the, the nukes. I'm not sure if I get the, my first nuke on this streak, but from now on, you'll see uh, the dual nukes are getting called in. And I've this is the first one I got on Xbox. I had one or two on PS3. I didn't really get, you know, a whole boatload or anything like that, but it very felt, it really felt, you know, really, really cool. It's one of the, like, coolest achievements you can get obviously there's people out there that get you know triple nukes quad nukes and stuff like that but that's pretty much all luck you gotta be playing against dudes that don't shoot down air support and I mean by any means getting a nuke in general people have to not shoot down air support and in this case I think they might have tried maybe one or two guys ended up trying but on Afghan maps like Afghan wasteland very wide open you can just put the Harrier bomb down the Harrier bomb might even get you your AC-130 just by killing people especially I'm playing ground war too so it makes it a lot easier all the other dual nukes I've gotten were 6v6 and I've gotten like three so far playing 9v9 which makes it a lot easier but a lot harder too because more people just means more people are gonna be after you and a lot of people just know that little trick that when you're in a you know if you see a guy in a kill streak you can press start and see his location if you just watch the kill cam and which is BS and all that but it's in the game There's a lot of stuff in the game they haven't fixed number one thing I would say I wish they changed that being able to press start and also I wish they made they fixed favela the the rooftop with all the I think people the call outs like banana rooftop or something like that you can't shoot through those and I think that the glitch has been known since day one and they haven't patched it till now and luckily they patched a few things they patched the annoying fuel rock glitch but uh not really high hopes but high hopes a little bit I guess you can't always be so negative but tomorrow hopefully you know we can get get some uh, Modern Warfare 3 multiplayer going find out what that game is all about so we can either be excited for it or we can you know hop on the bandwagon of Battlefield or something like that so I hope you know we can all just have a game we know and love and not experience frustration I think that's the number one thing Modern Warfare 2 is just it brings out the worst in people. I think I myself and all the people I play with just regard Modern Warfare 2 as one of the most frustrating games ever made. And I totally agree with that. I think it's one of the most frustrating and definitely the most uh, just aggravating. And it's because a lot of people play very, very aggressive, like either knifing running around or noob tubing or something like that. And that stuff just irritates you more than anything in the world. Than you know somebody just camping like with ghosts or something. I'd much rather have ghost campers than all the crazy stuff that goes on in this game. But uh, oh, speaking of uh, Black Ops, I pretty much quit playing Black Ops. Like I'm, I haven't played it for a month or something like that. Hopped on one day just to play the new Express playlist, and I was just like, it's still Black Ops. It still has horrible hit detection and stuff like that. So I really, really didn't want to play it. And I, my brother's been playing it a little bit. And he's just getting so frustrated. I'm like, okay, I should definitely stay away from that game because this is going to be total frustration. I think I got my first nuke with that one guy that ran out the middle right there. And I get the, my final nuke at the very end of the game, so we still got a little bit of ways to get there. But, oh, yeah, the one thing, there was one quick thing I needed to mention. Just It's probably already out there. You guys may already know it, but I just like to remind people. And sometimes maybe this phrase should not never got to you. But I guess with Modern Warfare 3... You guys should all know that, you know, there's going to be this whole COD Elite thing going on with it. The free part of it is a stat tracking service, and the premium service, we don't know what it really is yet, but we do know that if you buy the premium subscription, you're going to get all the DLC free, and anything else is kind of just speculation we don't really know. So if you actually buy the hardened edition of Modern Warfare 3, which is... You know, you just get like a hard case and maybe a cool manual or something, little thing in there. Um, you're going to get a full year free. So that basically means you'll be able to play Modern Warfare 3 for a full year with, you know, the full experience, I guess you could say. But I don't know how much of that is going to affect, uh, you know, multiplayer. They said nothing in 
COD Elite's going to give anybody unfair advantage in multiplayer, so it's basically just going to be... I'm not quite sure what type of service it can be. Maybe it'll be, you know, time exclusive, where maybe you got COD Elite, you get stuff early and stuff like that. But uh, you don't know. I think you also get exclusive camos, exclusive stuff like that, just like titles and emblems, stuff that's cosmetic that really don't, uh, you know, have any influence on the game. But that's nice to know that Hardened Edition, I mean, every now and what what have the prices been? They've been 80 as opposed to 60 And I'm guessing that COD Elite's going to cost you, if it's a year subscription, COD Elite itself will cost you maybe 20 30 bucks for a year. And if they can package it right with the Hardened Edition for 80 bucks, I would definitely buy that $80, $80 Hardened Edition. Definitely pre-order that because I know with Modern Warfare 2, and I don't know with Black Ops, but I know Modern Warfare 2 actually sold out of Hardened Edition. And there was no, um, you know, reward whatsoever, no prize in there that got you some free content. So definitely pre-order the Hardened Edition. That's where you're going to get your most money. I mean, if you're going to spend all this money on COD Elite or buy all the DLC by itself, you're definitely going to want to just save your money and get that. That's just the best recommendation. And even before we find out what COD Elite totally is, I think it's a, the best recommendation just to do that. And uh, right here, guys, finally get... Going for the second nuke, I'm in the AC-130. These dudes are pretty much camping really bad, but then they start spawning outside, and I get a nice, nice uh, AC-130. I'm able to get a lot of, you know, multi-kills, triple kills, and stuff like that. Big multi-kill, and uh, get the nuke, and I can finally just uh, call the game in. And uh, I got a few more dual nukes coming up. I really, I got a also the dual nukes. I believe I got one on high rise, and I also got the other one on invasion. So you guys can look forward to those. I have a really good TDM game also. I think I had like a 44 and 1 on high rise. So that's what I got. Waiting for you guys to post. Calling the dual nuke. Can't call in the second one. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, you know, stay tuned for uh, news on Modern Warfare 3. I'll definitely do a video just talking about it. I can't really be up to date because my computer sucks in rendering. So if I wanted to get breaking news out there, it would be breaking news hours late so uh, i really won't try i'll just once we get all the information i'll do a wrap-up video to let you guys know but uh, thanks for watching guys hope you guys enjoyed it peace i'm out